credit. But I'm sure Brazil will, as you said, watch the tape and, and get some, some plans for her next time. Mark, our next bout is actually a women's 56 kilogram bout between Tunisia in red and Vietnam in blue. We have Amara Salhi in red from Tunisia. Her opponent in blue is Titu Toy Nguyen. Our platform referee is from Belarus. We saw Tunisia uh, defeat Brazil and Vietnam's Nguyen. I believe fought as, as well yesterday. We're underway. Each round is two minute round with one minute break between. It's the best of three rounds. It's a nice exchange from Nguyen of Vietnam. Puts her on the scoreboard with two of the judges. Three of the judges still haven't seen scorable technique as of yet. Nice exchange of punches from Salhi. We have a, just a slight, actually an even match here. Yeah. Nguyen defeated Sri Lanka yesterday. Back at it again today. And for our viewers, uh, competing at this level, making weight each day, and fighting multiple days in a row. Making weight. Making weight, Mark, reminds me to let our viewers know that in this competition, competitors are weighed each morning to ensure that they are within their weight category. Yes, and that's because we have a four-day event, and um, people familiar with uh, fight sports know that many of the fighters, you, you try to be a lower, the lowest weight possible, so obviously maybe dehydrate a bit and don't eat. Some people take it to an extreme, but the thing about that is you can't go too extreme in this event because you, ha you weigh in the day before the beginning of the event, but then you start weighing in every day of the event, so you can't do a very extreme weight cut that's going to leave you debilitated because you might not make weight for your fights later and that would be a shame to show up to Worlds, get a win, and then the next day not make your weight. Salhi's showing some strong hands. Yes. Straight punches and there it Good. is again. Yeah. She wants to land her hands. Nguyen scoring with the feet. And Nguyen up significantly on the card. Scorecards there. Nguyen as you pointed out, Mark, well ahead and will win this round, this first round of best of three match between Vietnam in blue, Nguyen, and Salhi in red. Of there Tunisia. we see one of those good punches that you talked about and some punch exchanges between yes. them. They had some goodness. Yes. A great right. That's Another. really Salhi's, you know, technique, which keeps going back to the well on it. Um, Unfortunately, when you get the body kicks underneath, you're trading one point for the punch two points for two for points kick. for the kick. And so that can lead to, uh, you know, problems. And, and also, kicks being a little bigger, sometimes for these smaller fights, fighters, you should see, uh, judges maybe can see that kick a little clearer from all angles. So you're getting two points or one point on more judges' cards consistently um, but those were some good punches. She's got good hands. She shouldn't throw that away. Maybe just following up with that leg kick. Throw a cross into the face and then hack with the leg kick or go for a takedown. Or a cross hook. There, again, there, kicking afterwards, better, yes. For each of her punches, Nguyen is giving a couple of kicks. She knows that Salhi is open. So where Nguyen can fire off a kick Oh. where she can fire off a kick to Salhi pu Salhi's punch when it lands. It's two points versus the one. Yes. That's a very good punch. And so that's one for one if we get the leg versus the face uh, for punch, leg kick versus punch to the face. Oh. Just a little adjustment to the gear there, and we're back. Salhi switching to southpaw. She's 
in decent range, but again, Nguyen's throwing those kicks a little bit more effectively, like that. That one actually hit the arm yep, there. exactly. The arm is not a scoring area. As Mark pointed out earlier, we have five sideline judges. Each sideline judge is at a corner and then one in the middle of the lay tie. They have different viewpoints, so sometimes one judge who's sitting behind an opponent might not see the technique clearly. Big and punch score. there. If, if you notice, Nun is a little bit faster with the twitch on her combinations generally. It's a kick into a punch very quickly. Salty seems a little bit heavier hitting. It's big power there. But they don't chain together quite as fast. So if Nguyen's able to move in and out, she can pop, pop, and get two or three points and move. Salty needs a little bit more time to get those big shots. And she can't land that cross from far away unless Nguyen's throwing a strike. And therefore, Nguyen's probably scoring when she's trying to counter with the cross. You see there, throwing a kick from a little too far away, a loaded up front leg roundhouse kick. And Nguyen was well aware of that and away from it. Nguyen's, Nguyen's ability to move, and she wins the round, tied on one judge's scorecard, but leading on four others. Good punch and kick there. Good from roundhouse Sally. kick. So we see that is the name of the game as far as the punches answering. That one glanced, so not scoring. And that so we see there's the kick to the leg, and then the punch misses. Um, I think so. So our winner of this bout, T2 Toy Nguyen of Vietnam, over Amira Salhi of Tunisia in this women's 56. Nossa, nossa. Assim você me mata Ai, se eu te pego Ai, ai, se eu te pego Ai, delícia, delícia